Alrighty, so today we have part three of amending a raised bed. <clears throat> we got 15 pounds of gypsum, 50 pounds of alfalfa meal, and 50 pounds of flaxseed meal. Flaxseed meal has 5% nitrogen, 1% phosphorus, and 1% potassium. And the alfalfa meal has 3% nitrogen, 1% phosphorus, and 3% potassium. And gypsum is high in calcium and sulfur and will help loosen up heavy clay soils. We're also going to be composting some strawberries and blueberries into our bed. Um, so one of the things I do recommend when doing organic gardening is to wear some gloves so keep your hands nice and clean and wear a mask. So if at any point in this video you can't understand me or if you can't hear me please forgive me I am wearing a mask. Um, you can just mention that in the comments and I will try to clarify what I said. I probably will know. So just try to hit me up and let me know about that. Okay, so um, we're going to start with the flaxseed meal. I'm going to cut it. Watch out, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Go away. Buddy, go away. of flaxseed meal and we're going to also mix in the blueberries now so we're just going to spread them out a little evenly on top they're getting a little bad it's starting to get gross so just throw those out and do the same with the strawberries i'm sure the worms will like that and so that'll promote a lot of worm growth and just add it to the soil complexity that we have so the more stuff that you compost the more things that you into your soil the better it's actually going to be no matter what it is so um, if you have stuff to compost that you know is organic material that will break down you should definitely compost it because it will break down and it will fertilize your bed all right now so at this process you should definitely pull your mask up um, we can honestly actually you know what we'll actually till the soil really quick just to get the sucker ready it's looking great actually um if you can see from that first little pull it's going a lot of worms too actually too which is great it has a lot of food it's got a lot of food this sucker um we're probably not going to use all of the alfalfa meal i'm going to keep some of it for the rest of the garden um, so probably do like 25 pounds, maybe like half the bag. Because uh, this is a lot of food. And this bed's kind of stinky. Uh, which isn't a bad thing. Because we are early out. And we did add about like 67 pounds of fertilizer. And so that's a lot. Uh, but this stuff should break down quick. And actually help the bed break down a little bit more evenly. And maybe help with the stinkiness. Um... It's definitely hot. All righty. looking pretty good nice happy healthy soil um, and like I said the strawberries probably I don't uh, will probably add a little acidity um, to the bed that's honestly about it um, and I know for a fact the blueberries 
will definitely add some acidity to the bed, which is fine. It just kind of acts as a pH, almost. You know, pH here. Um, so that's a little freaking grub. We can get rid of that now. Not like those suckers. Another way to So, probably not a ton of roots anymore breaking down in here. So that's why we're probably not seeing as many. So, in part four, we're probably going to add a lot of Karanja cake. And I'd have to assume like shrimp shell meal maybe. Uh, just to get everything to break down. We're definitely going to want to get these uh, strawberries and blueberries mixed in deep. But as we add the other stuff and get that stuff into the bed, we're going to uh, um, be able to do that as we kind of like till the rest of the bed up um, as we add like other fertilizers. That would just kind of honestly uh, mix in itself. But we're seeing a decent amount of worms. Not a million, still pretty cold out, I guess. So maybe that's why there's not a ton of them. We might add some at some point. Found some grub again. It's really heavy. But that's composting things that I need that. I'm definitely going to add a lot of crunch cake next time. Maybe try to get my hand on some meat. Bed's really nice and soft though. But, um, go with, uh, some grubs last year when we had cannabis out here. And, um, yeah, that sucker definitely, uh, had grub attack along with our tomatoes. Um, they definitely didn't die, but um, at one point I almost thought it was like screwing up the growth of the plants. And so what I ended up doing was I ended up adding, um, I did a compost tea that had neem in it. I just added some neem oil into it and added some uh, uh, titan from my shrimp shells. Let that break down. They were already ready breaking down, so I knew that would help. And then <clears throat> I had a, a bunch of hydrogen peroxide, um, which can irritate them, make them want to leave. And that's kind of like an organic way of 
uh, getting rid of grubs if you don't want to kill them. Um, some people compost them, like kind of like throw them to their chickens and stuff like that. I don't want to do that because I feel like that might promote larvae within the soil. So I just kind of get rid of these things because I don't really like them. Um, All right, so now we can dump our 50 pounds of flax seed meal. Remember, pull your mask up. Because this is a. We'll have a lot of dust and particles flying up. And clog your airways for sure. So let me rip this a little bit more. Trying to move some of this over. Go away. Try this. Move. I like it. I'm going to get the 15 pounds of gypsum now. Um. I actually didn't have too much dust, so it wasn't too bad. Um, again, gypsum is high in calcium, calcium and sulfur, and that will just promote um, um, nice stocky branches and your plants will get nice and big from the calcium. And the sulfur will help with taste and promote um, more terpene production, um, which will help with fighting off pests. Again, 50 pounds of alfalfa meal. Um, where's my cup? Okay. I'm sorry it is getting a little dark. We are doing these um, a little bit later in the day at sunset. Um, this is our night up. We're running against, running up against the time right now. Running up against the time a little bit, so. Sorry about that. So we're just going to do a half of this, and then the rest of that's going to go into the garden. Um, so we're going to do like watermelons and zucchini here. We're going to do a bunch of uh, peppers and um, a trellis system here, and then we're going to do a bunch of tomatoes and pumpkins over there. So we got to make sure we fertilize all that. That one's super tough. <laughs> Buddy, be quiet. That one's super duper dusty, so we'll let that one air out a bit. 
And then after that, basically all you would do is then um, mix this all in and then water. And you're ready to go. Have a good one, guys.